little electric How I wonder why you are Up above the world so high Like a rhyme with a chime Windy, windy little electric How I wonder why you Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I'm Kat Lancia and today I want to have a look into wind turbines. First up, what's up with the free blades? They are so ubiquitous these days. So apparently the free blades are important when it comes to dynamic loading. Now this is in the event where the turbine starts turning into the wind. So as you can see that if you turn the blades that are basically vertical, those will experience less angular momentum than the blades that are extended. As a result it wears more. Now on the free bladed one, because there is free blades, it helps a lot in terms of that angular momentum or the loading that is caused on the shaft. As a result, most of the turbines are built in free turbine configurations because of that reduced loading issue. And as mentioned earlier, the four blade one is uh, exceedingly rare as a result of the cost benefit because there is very little benefit that you gather from adding an additional blade but your cost for building it is well a third more than what a free bladed one would be and by very little i mean it's very little it's like five percent in the best cases so just a little bit of a side note during this research i also realized something else um, in the case of wind turbines i don't really see that they are that great i mean if you look at it, it, it's essentially it's a solar panel in a mechanical form. Because wind on our planet is generated by solar influx as a result of the sun's energy that is being deposited. So, as a result, all wind is generated by the sun. There's one problem with wind turbines is that they also remove kinetic energy from the wind. Which, in my opinion, it's not such a great thing because if you are going to slow down winds, certain areas which had a certain climate will most likely change as now the winds aren't as strong and can't carry the weather as far as it used to. And as a result, we might see significant changes of a widespread adoption of wind turbines. Especially when one takes into account the fact that most modern wind turbines are hovering around 40 to 47 percent efficiency in turning the kinetic energy of the wind into electricity. So that's a lot of energy that's going to be removed from the wind, especially if we do this on a massive scale. So I rather propose we just go ahead and make a Dyson Swarm. That just seems to be the best and ultimate solution to all our problems in terms of energy and climate problems. Oh, and also there's this uh, device that they use to turn the wind turbine into the wind. So they use a yaw motor and that's controlled by an anemone... What the hell is even that? This thing right here. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did. And please share it with your friends if you have any.